gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everyone and thank you for coming to my channel Which is Deb Chanel's 48's World Where we get down and we talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta tonight That air Eastern Standard Time Zone at 8 o'clock today and I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel, liking, and sharing my videos. So let's get on into this Bravo franchise of a hot mess tonight. I don't know what the hell they were doing tonight, but it was just a lackluster. Lackluster until Noelle came in and shot the shit out of me. Talking about she like women. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait one minute. Let me take it one step at a time. I'm like, you're doing too much, too fast. I wasn't even expecting that. That came out of left field, okay? I was like, hold that thought. <laughs> hold, hold that thought. All right? That was the upside of tonight's episode. But I don't really know where they were going. It was just a hot mess. It was, I'm like, y'all said y'all was going to bring some drama. I'm like, man, this is like side tea at the Apollo, Okay? Oh, Jesus. But anyway, we're going to get on into it. I'm going to give you what I got. It ain't much. I tell you, it ain't much. Whew. Okay. Uh, we're going to go out. First scene was Portia, Candy, and Cynthia meeting for lunch. And they trying to figure out why Kenya went and said something that she had no business saying because she wasn't privy to none of the message or the information. She got it all second and third hand. So, um, Portia came. She was, you know, she looked cute to me. I don't know what uh, Candy was talking about. I guess she was just used to having Portia made up with her makeup and all flashy and carefree. And she came in looking like a new summer day. No makeup, really. Uh, you know, lightly. And she had on flats. And Portia usually be, you know, dressing in heels and, and stuff of that nature. But I kind of like them like she's a mother now. Hell, everything going to take a second and third back seat. Because you got to make sure the child's straight. Can't you know better? She don't have a baby before. She don't have two. Hell. But anyway, um, they seem like they enjoy themselves. And they try to kind of tell Portia what really had went down and they didn't want Kenya to come in there and do all that little stuff. And they were really just doing damage control. No worries. But, you know, Kenya had to get her little fixation on about what's really happening. You know, oh, social media saying this, that, and a third about you and Dennis. You know, what's going on? Give us some tea. Hell, we want to know. We're your girls. I'm like, Kenya, everything on TV, baby. This ain't like uh, non-public knowledge. Like, she's over at your crib kicking it. Ain't no cameras rolling. Come on, girl. Come on. What you want us to do? You like that? If you and Todd were having a problem? Because in the streets, they said Todd was without you and coming out of motel early in the morning time. Do you want to take a, 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 a little piece of time and tell us about that situation? I think not. Okay, but moving on. Um, Portia kind of divulged to both of them that um, Dennis did cheat. She didn't really want to give him a lot of it, but she know she had to drop a little tea on so they'll leave her the hell alone, okay? So, you know, it wasn't with Sincerely from what she was pretty much alluding to, but it was with somebody. And Ken said, that's all? Just because he cheated, you want to leave him alone? I said, damn, Kenny, you married, okay? <laughs> that girl ain't married. She just engaged, meaning it's a promise to get married. So if he already committing fouls and, and flags and plays that ain't going nowhere, and we just have to stop the game in action because of this one infraction, what the hell he going to do later on when she do get married, Okay. Oh, child, she don't want to go down the street. Her sister went down. Her sister married and, and called herself uh, husband, uh, cheated on her when she was pregnant. And I don't know what wrong with these men when they get you knocked up and shit and y'all be sitting up there trying to make a life with each other. And sometimes you can't uh, drop it like it's hot because the baby is, you know, got your body all out of shape. You looking like a big ass elephant. You don't want nobody to touch you. All a woman that's pregnant would know what we're talking about, or if you've been pregnant before, you know, you just don't feel like being touched. It's just too much going on, and you just like an emo emotional roller coaster, hell. And so, he, I guess he felt he needed to be with somebody slimmer and get him a little piece and nobody would find out. Hey, it don't, it don't work that way. But, uh, Candy really tripped me the hell out when she said, honey, you can't get him up because of that. Yeah, hell, well, it, it, she ain't in your situation right now. She ain't married. It's just a promise, too. But anyway, 
we move on from that. Um, they ask, you know, pretty much still in a business, trying to say, well, where he at? Is he living with y'all? She said, uh-huh, he ain't with me. He ain't with me. He had to uh, get his little rags and, and, and get on back down to wherever he came from, from the beginning. But uh, she said, he took the ring, and then Cynthia gonna throw her little tip. What do you mean? He cheated with bestiality and all this other shit going on. He took the ring back. That, you know, I'm like, Cynthia, you shut your mouth. You ain't even married, okay? You don't have Well, you didn't get, I don't think you and Leon had anything going on, but then... Let me see. You ain't even married to Mike. You begging him to marry you. And uh, let's see. Sit, sit your ass down and don't say nothing. Just a little pretty like Kim Zozak said and don't say a word. I'm, I'm right down with Kim Zozak right about now. I don't need you to say shit. Just sit and listen. Can you do that, baby? Can you do that? Let Ken answer all the questions. But anyway, she goes and say yes, he took the rain back, child. And uh, she seemed comfortable with it. And, you know, hell, she pretty much saying, you know, she can't believe he did that to her. So, so right now, she in the abyss. She's all up. She's just an emotional creature. She here, there, and nowhere. Okay. So, um, let me see. Candy tried to compare her situation, which is no comparison other than both of them were out of wedlock. She was trying to say, well, I know what you're talking about, honey, because me and my first uh, Riley's daddy, we tried to make it. I'm like, no, Candy, let's just see. <laughs> Flag on play, foul, foul, honey. No, you were messing with a married man from what them streets was saying. He was married at the time. He probably was lying to you just to get your, you know, Uchi as many times as he could. But he didn't think you were going to get pregnant, you know. But he was married, Candy. So, technically, you were the side chick, the mistress. Well, you weren't a mistress because you had to be married. Well, I guess he was, you was a mistress because he was married to somebody else. And that lady wasn't giving him up, okay? But anyway, you thought you were going to take him and move on with the lie because he probably lied to you and you were believing the lie. But it came out that he wasn't going nowhere. He just used you and you got a baby, okay? And the rest is history. But you're doing well for yourself, honey. Make that mistake once. Don't make it twice, all right? It's just ill what it is. Stop, Elijah. And, um... <laughs> Let me see. Uh, let's see here. Uh, just getting off candy because that was a ridiculous comparison or similarity to even put in the, the Kool Aid. Okay. We need to extract that out. We just drink water. Just give me some ice. Just make it click up. Candy was trying to liquor me up there, but it, it, it didn't fly. It, it, didn't, it didn't fly. It was a no fly zone. Kind of like candy. Those are two, diff two different situations. Okay. Dennis was still playing, but he wasn't married to Portia. Okay. Your situation. You were the other woman, but he was married to somebody. So that no can and flag on play. Sit you down. You ain't doing too much on the field either. We're gonna bench both you and Cynthia at this time. Portia, what's going on, baby? What is going on? Just do your own thing. You talk. I'm listening. Okay, I'm listening. But anyway, we move on from that situation. Then we got Eva is filling in for Portia over at Dish Nation, Ho and the Brat, getting their face made up so they can start their show and you know, Eve was trying to run her mouth. The brat don't want to hear. She's like, baby, that's y'all drama. I'm out. <laughs> and I was like, I would have been the same way, brat. Don't put me on TV unless it's this nation or Ricky Smile and Morning Show. This Real Housewives of Atlanta stuff, I ain't got nothing to do with it. They ain't paying me. Bye. Okay? So she excused herself to go on up and get ready for the show. And then Eve was still, you know, pampering herself, letting the woman do her makeup or whatnot. And then Cynthia Bailey gonna call in, like, what you doing, friend? How you doing? I'm like, that, who got Cynthia playing such a fool out here? What is she doing, Lord? What is she doing? She can't even come correct with trying to be um, a spy or just trying to drop tea. She just looks so awkward to me, delivering tea and talking about folk. I'm like, Nindy might say, and she seems to be the little snitch running around here, but I'm like, she ain't delivering it right, and I don't like it. You know, it's just like she's just getting on my nerves. I just want to pop her. You know what I'm saying? Pop her and get away with it, okay? Because she just need to be cute, sit down, and don't say shit. I, I, I'm not like, she aggravated me. She's aggravating me more than she's trying to put out what she's trying to give us. Because right now, I'm not feeling it. But anyway, uh, she goes on and say, yay, how you doing, girl? Uh, and she dropping, you know, dropping gossip that's hurtable. You know, she's trying to start chaos and dissension. Um, she's gossiping behind Portia back. You know, after she was in Portia face, you know, 
trying to say this, that, and the third, and then she coming back telling Eva another whole story, just gossiping, spreading lies, and all this kind of shit. I'm like, oh, okay, Cynthia's the snitch this this season. Cynthia is the snitch. Um, but anyway, like I said, she go and drop a tea on Porsche about Kenya, about what they were talking about, and you know, it just probably was a, a a misunderstanding. And Eva called herself black. She part of the uh, black persuasion of uh, you know in our culture, but she was getting on or telling Cynthia, I ain't saying uh, uh, Kenya and Portia with their nappy ass heads. I'm like, what well, girl? No, don't say no nappy head. Don't say that. That's that's offensive. That's uh, culture inappropriateness that you're doing, okay? And I'm, I'm like, girl, I don't like evil. I don't like her. She, she being too much. I'm like, uh, which one are you, white or black? Which one are you, white or black, evil? Because I'm confused. You, you want to be black when it's a whole black section over here, but then if it's a white or Latino or whatever, you want to be over there with them too? Uh, stop playing the fence, girl. Stop. You ain't about that life. You ain't about that like a can you, I mean, not can you, but uh, well, I don't know. Well, I ain't gonna say Kenya because you know Portia dragged her and shit. So, but King, uh, uh, Portia about them hands, girl. Don't don't mess with her. Do not mess with Portia. She's in anger management, and we don't know if she uh, successfully completed the course. And she needed to have needed to take more lessons. Okay, but anyway, we move on from there. But she goes on to ask Eva to come go shopping with her for the Pride Festival that's gonna be happening in New York. And of course, you know she accepts. She say, okay, cool. So then we go on over to uh, Kenya's crib, uh, um, more Manor, and <clears throat> she's playing with little Brookie, and, and they're doing their little thing. And then Mark, well, I don't remember, I, hell, I'm guessing Mark called, but uh, it was a conversation on the phone where he was skyping on the phone with her, and uh, you know talking to the baby, and the baby seemed like he she recognizes uh, her dad's voice or whatnot. Or um, stage dad, however you want to put it, you know. And um, he caught himself checking on his two women, and you know, uh, the dog was running around, uh, the baby and stuff, and getting closer. And she said, You know, dog looked up face, and he'd be like, uh, Them dogs need to be outside. I said, What the hell is that? Did he see them dogs? How small they are? Hell, a cat to come in and eat them alive, okay? Please, I'm like, where we get Mark from? I'm not liking Mark either. Where we get him from? He has no compassion for animals. Call Pet Peter on him, P E T A, the Protections Act of Rights for the Animals or something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Peter, Peter, okay, not Peter Thomas, but the organization uh, for dogs or animals. Call them because he's offending me. I'm thinking he's doing crazy things or harming dogs out there, allegedly, okay? But anyway. Twirl and, and I forgot the other child's name. She you know, named her dolls. But they've been there for you, have. They've been there before you. She ain't getting them, them dolls, okay? She got her dolls plus Brooklyn to deal with. That's why it makes me think. That man don't, uh, he don't, uh, he married a Kenya. He don't like Kenya. He showed out. He done played his act. He ready to get gone. I wish Kenya just cut him loose. Cut him loose, okay? I can't love both you and Mark. Yeah. I can love you, Kenya, because I get where you're coming from, okay? But that damn mom, uh, I, I don't like him. When he, when he didn't like, was it, King and Twirl? I think that's what it is, they names. He, he lost me in my book. He he lost. He's gone. He's in the wind. I don't give a shit no more. I'm just letting you know. But anyway, uh, he's gone. He's uh, asking Kenya about swimming lessons for his daughter or their daughter or whatnot. And... Uh, She's uh, kind of feeling sad for herself or trying to make that, you know, Ma has two kids. He's experienced, da 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 and, and, you know, I'm new at this, and he's trying to make me feel bad that I don't uh, know too much about raising a child. Well, hell, ain't nobody uh, a pros until they have one, and they make mistakes, and then they learn, and they become pros with the second child, okay? So, I I just didn't like it. I didn't like it, y'all. You know, I understood what she was saying. That he was trying to tell her what to do. Trying to be another person like Mike Hill. Okay, that's what he, he trying to show us. He big bag and, you know, he funky all over the place. Well, yeah, you know, he need to come and get trained by the best. Where's Nene? Nene can whoop him in the shake because she damn sure got Greg on a leash, okay? But anyway, moving on from that scene because I didn't like that scene at all. I didn't like how he made Kenya feel. And, you know, Kenya's really a strong person, and she'll mow you down if you're a female. But, y'all, and hell, no, she, she has, she won mow Mark down. Not Mark, but what the name, man name Matt. She's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. So, 
I don't know. Is it the light skinness of Mar? It, it, it's the beauty of Mar, the handsomeness of whatever that got her all flagged out and flaked out. I don't know, but she need to get her she need to get her uh balls about herself. Okay, she need to dress up in her woman. I am raw. I can roar. I can do everything uh, through God that strengthens me. She need to be on that path and and, and shake him down. Cause I don't like Mar. Let's move on. Okay, then we got nowhere, honey. Nowhere and Cynthia, they drive down the street. I don't know where they're coming from. I guess she picked up from the airport because she failed at uh, going to school for the second time. College is just not for nowhere. She wants to be from uh, what it says in the streets, what I'm hearing on the roads out there. That need, uh, Noelle wants to be a YouTube fan, uh, um, a YouTube, um, what do you call it, fashion model, a YouTube personality person. That's what she want to do. She want to be in the entertainment field. So I'm sure her mom can help her out and uh, this, that, and third. She can make connections for her. But right now, she's trying to be a, a, a YouTube sensation out here. Bravo to her. Okay. Um, but she also throws in the mix and Cynthia got to be up all, all, all in her business, her personal business. She found out that her daughter likes women. Yes. Um, Noelle been uh, swimming around in that women's pool, okay? She's been carpet munching over there, all right? Honey, it look like, um, what is this, y'all? Now, Cynthia want to run off the road after she told it. I said, well, hell, you ass, you been nosy, so just a sip. You ain't been following her. You ain't really been there for her, so she trying to experience life through her own lenses, okay? So she has to make her own decisions. Maybe next year she'll be into men, but you trying to make her be bisexual, and the girl said, no, she like females, okay? So get into it. Then you try to brush it off and say, oh, yeah, okay, well, we love everybody. I like, you ain't, you still ain't even really dead what she told you. It showed in your face. You were all uncomfortable. It, it was very unsettling to you. And see, that's what I'm saying. You don't chose a man over your daughter because you don't know why she even went to the woman's pool. Because she did say something nice about um, Peter that she saw true love there. So Peter did treat you somewhat sincere uh, when he was with you. He just had to get wrapped around your money. But you know, People get greedy. They, you know, they love one thing more than they love the other. It's biblical. You're going to love one more than you love the other. Money or the Lord. So, you know, you choose. Well, his choice was the money, okay? Cynthia lost in that one. Then she lost uh, with Leon. I still don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I'm gathering. He may be dipping in the man pool. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't seen him with no women lately. But I ain't seen him with no men either. It's just my speculation. Okay? My radar just going off gay when I see him. Okay? So, um, I, I, that's all with Cynthia until we get back towards the end of it. Where she's just acting a damn fool all over the place. Okay? Because I'm not liking nothing Cynthia's doing. These two episodes. Okay? <laughs> she just, she doing too much and she ain't nowhere. She going everywhere, but she ain't going nowhere. If y'all understand that way of thinking. Okay. But I just think the world is just confused as hell. She don't have no really family background. I'm like, where's her grandma, man? She seemed like a very stable and, and well-minded person. No way I need to spend some time with her grandma, I believe. Okay. Now I'm not saying she's going to change her mind and, and go back and, and like me and how the society has us thinking this is the proper way we're supposed to be with a man and a woman, stuff like that. But if you want to uh, re-appropriate, you're going to have to, you know, be with some sex of a man, okay? But anyway, um, you know, I just think she's confused. She's just trying in and everything. Hope she, she don't get the no bestiality because she don't need to go that far, all right? But I just think she's lost out there and Cynthia needs to pay more attention to her. Get her under wraps and see what's really going on with her. Because it don't seem like she's on an even keel. I'm just saying that's just my opinion, okay? But moving on from that situation, um, some strange-ass thing came when uh, they did a scene with Ken and Marlo. I'm like, that was the weirdest mess I've seen thus far, okay? And it's just the second episode. How did her and Marlo get together? And Marlo not a, a holder of a peach. <laughs> I'm like, I can see her filming with Nene Leakes because that's what they do. I can see her a little bit with Kenya because they have a past. But I don't remember Kenya and, uh, I mean, uh, Marlo and uh, Candy having a past, okay? But they're trying to start a future by looking at them in the present. Marlo's talking about some weirdness that she has inherited her children, um, 
her sister's children because her, her sister had to go into a pretty much a mental health facility to work out her issues. And I commend Marlo for stepping up, doing the right thing, taking her kids so they didn't have to go in the foster care program or whatnot and get lost in the system. So I must commend her. Everybody salute Marlo. But Marlo looked like she just, oh, Lord, the kids don't rain on her parade because she, <laughs> she was living foot loose and fast and free. But now it seems like, nope, you're going to have to come mom, auntie, and all the above, okay? So um, they were there playing with Ace, and Ace looked like he just wanted to play with his mama. And I don't know what it means, but uh, Candy looked really fat, okay? So when did she start drinking this liquid diet, and she's become all slim and trim? So I don't know. Maybe she was working on it during the taping part, and we just saw the, the last pieces of her shrinking down to where she was because she looked kind of heavy. Look that kind of heavy in the back. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, maybe it's just me. Maybe with my TV. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that was a cute scene. But uh, not enough to hold my attention. Then we go to... Um, let me see. Uh, they also talk about Nene had reached out to her. And, you know, Marlo going to ride for Nene regardless. Because that's her, her ace boon coon. And that's her... Uh, really way of taping uh of getting her little check from bravo she has to film with nene and nene's glad to have her at every chance she can get her to film with her because she don't have too much people to film with either okay and that's because nene likes it that way not that the other women wouldn't mind filming with her even though they probably know they're gonna have some drama filled situations but everybody need their time everybody need to be taping so they can get that paycheck okay and then we just go on and go to a uh, portion and then we'll get to Cynthia if I choose to. But right now, she getting on my nerve. But anyway, uh, we're going to go on to Portia now. Portia is all over the place, pretty much. Just all over the damn place. She done got cheated on and ain't even married. And she's thinking about leaving this man alone all, you know, for the, the good, for the better. Because she can't take it that she was pregnant and this joker cheated on her with someone else. Not the one they said in the social media around that time. Tasha K was bringing out saying it was Sincerely War. But for, for me looking at it, I think he got down with Sincerely War and he got down with some woman Portia's not going to divulge on uh, the show or on social media. She's trying to keep it separate. But, you know, separate apart or, or full flesh in her face, you know, it happened and she got to deal with it. Now, to me, going fast forward, uh, it seems like she don't dealt with it. She's going to keep him in her life. But my thing is like this, Portia. If he lied to you one time about something that he know he did, and then instead of him just coming out being a man saying, you know, you know, I, I slipped, you know, I, I didn't want to mess with you too much because you were having a baby, you were having little complications here and there, and I was horny. And I didn't cap myself off and, you know, just hear what it is. Or maybe he capped himself off. I don't know until nine months later, he might have another baby. You know, uh, somebody might be coming to Porsche doorstep saying, you know, this happened around the time that, you know, they, you know, all y'all were having y'all the difficulties trying to stay together, not together. And we got together again. And whoops, nine months later, here's, some, here's this baby. So my thing is, Porsche, you got to really think about this situation because you can forgive somebody, but you'll never forget. And if you can't forget it in a sense where you move on and it's being fruitful, then you need to let them go. You might need to do like your sister. It ain't going to work. I'm going to continue to think you still fool around on me. I'm going to be checking your phone night and day. I'm going to be wondering where you at when you're not with me. And it's just going to be that vicious cycle. And does he really deserve that? Hell yeah. But, you know, speaking, you know, realistically, no. Because that means you don't trust him. He's going to start mouthing back at you about hey that was long ago i've been faithful you to this point but you still haven't really forgiven me because you won't let it go see he's gonna turn the shit back on you going on down that road okay so is it something you're gonna be ready to accept or you're gonna be like well you did it to me you know see that's too much banter going back and forth so you really need to decide whether you're gonna forgive her and forget that incident because it's gonna always be in the for the forefront of your head as well as the back when you can't find him or when he's uh, doing something, he said he was doing this, but he doing something else. Then you're going to be thinking, you know, he's doing it again to me. So it's your choice. I think you should sit and pray about it and this, that, and the third, and then move on and just be accepting of it. Don't be putting the kids involved or, or PJ need her dad. Hell, she can have her dad, but he won't have you in that scenario, okay? He can be a good father, a, a dutiful father, uh, 
a receiving father for his daughter, but y'all don't have to be man and wife, okay? Y'all made her, you're the biological mother, he's the biological father, co-parent. But that's what how I feel about it, but you're going to do what you're going to do, and then I don't want to hear no crying later on, talking about, <coughs> he did me again like this. Well, you knew it could happen. You knew the feelings that you were feeling at the time that it did happen to you. You should have made a more decisive situation of a a, of a, uh, a resolution for both you and him. But, you see, you know, I, I, it just is what it is, Portia. It just is what it is. You make your choice, you lay in your bed, and you live with your consequences. That's all I got to say. Now we're going to go with, um, we ain't going to get on uh, Cynthia no more because she was just, if, if anybody had eyes to see and ears to hear, we know Portia, I mean, um, Cynthia is supposed to be the little mess starter around here. And she going back, you know, telling half truths and, and, and looking like a, a, a ass at him pretty much. And I, I don't like the whole role she's playing and then she's being too cocky with it. But I'm like, she ain't about that life because, uh, hey, Portia's all about that life. Don't get her started, honey. You ain't evil running around now. She been on whoop both of y'all, allegedly. Okay. But anyway, we're going to go to Kenya. Kenya only had a little uh, part in it, <laughs> pretty much. We talked about Mark, whatever. Then uh, Kenya called herself me, Cynthia Bailey, at some uh, spiritual shop where they sold different items to award off evil um evil or uh, entities or, or spirits or whatnot and because she felt that evil had put some on her <laughs> she needed to get some sage and some candles and some of everything she wanted cynthia said she was going to new york with her for the gay pride uh festival and she needed to arm herself up with some holy stuff i'm like can you, how can you uh believe in almost voodoo type worshiping practices but then you're gonna say you're a christian <laughs> I'm like, can you get it together, baby? Because, no, you don't pretty much know your religion at all. The two do not go together. All right? Because in the Bible, it you don't so, you don't see you don't seek out suit seekers or any parts of witchcraft paraphernalia. Okay? And you're just up in that store wanting this, that, and the third. So, no, baby, you're not a Christian. You're not practicing Christianity. So, give that lie up. Okay? But, um, that's all I have for this video. Like I said, it was full of shit, uh, pretty much. Excuse my French. Uh, it just upset me. And I, I, I like I said, I was waiting for drama. And all thing I got was cattiness, uh, that they like to see women act up and, and beat down men. <laughs> and think we're supposed to, you know, be the bearers, bearing the brunt of all of their misfortunes. And then Candy got on my nerve talking about, well, honey, it, it, that's all he did was just cheated on you. That ain't enough. I'm like, girl, who don't scorn you to think that's not enough? Hell, that's the ultimate betrayal right now is infidelity, okay? Unless you're accepting of an open marriage or open relationship. Then you you are welcoming that pair of, uh, what do you call that? Damn, uh, it's a parador, Pandora's box. You're opening that up, okay? And that is just opening up to a lot of sinful unnatural things okay so what you want her to be open and he getting booty here and then she getting booty here and there uh -uh, that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna work hey just how that open marriage shit work for you don't throw it in portia face no that's the ultimate betrayal okay and messing with the finances that's number two okay when you're messing up with the finances and you're doing infidelity around him when we ain't said we gonna do it like that that's a problem so I kind of got mad with Candy on that issue when she was telling me, that's how you want to do What you want her to do, catch diseases here and there? He go out there and, and, and impregnate other people and then come impregnate me and then he done caught something for some other woman out there that's going to run around there being loose, sexing him and sexing some other people as well. I'm like, Candy, what in the hell is wrong with you, girl? But yeah, that's all I have for this video. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought y'all wanted to know what y'all felt about the episode okay did it beat what i had said you can give it to me because i'm ready for it <laughs> okay but like i said it wasn't what i was expecting it was all over the place so i became all over the place with it and um uh, that's where i am i give it a four i give it a four just a four out of a ten rating scale it was a four bravo fool me this time they you gotta do better what do you need to leave that 
Where is Nene Leaks? Okay, that's what I'm saying. Well, that's all I have for this video. Y'all get out in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about today's episode. And we'll um, have some interactions. We'll communicate with each other throughout the week. All right, y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Or oh, I should say blessed night. I know I ain't perfect, but